Today, we are covering what people want to know about the Chinese company Evergrande, their default on their debt, and we're looking at what comes of all of this. We have another great job opportunity for you this week as well, so let's get right to it. We will get right to the Evergrande story in just a minute, but first, if this is your first time here, my name is Sean Tolan, your local CBTV journalist. We report on all the latest news, information, and issues that face the building trades community. Also, please make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell to get instantly notified of new updates as reports come out. Let us begin. Lorentz Construction is hiring construction estimators. Pay is between $68,000 and $132,000 a year, depending on experience. Lorentz, that is spelled L-O-R-E-N-T-Z, states they are a commercial general contractor that oversees and constructs new buildings in nearly all commercial market segments in the area, including tenant improvements, existing building renovations, and healthcare. With continued growth, we are looking for talented, like-minded professionals to join our team." End quote. Responsibilities and duties include analyzing drawings to prepare cost, material, and labor estimates, preparing conceptual budgets for projects of varying sizes, complexity, and type, reviewing subcontractor proposals prior to contract issuance for complete work scopes, and other related tasks and duties as requested. They ask that candidates have at least five years experience and a bachelor's degree. The position is full-time with medical, dental, vision, paid time off, and a 401k. As mentioned before, this is up to $132,000 a year, so it sounds like a really good opportunity. Information on how to apply is down in the description. Now for our featured story. Evergrande has recently defaulted on their debt for the third month in a row. For those who don't know, Evergrande is one of China's largest real estate developers that has caused quite a stir across the pond. So why do we care? Well, this one company alone is responsible for two to three percent of China's GDP. Their default on their debt to bondholders totals $150 million in this last round of missed payments alone. The losses could be in the billions before this is all over and has people in the markets very uneasy. With many Chinese people having sold all they own to invest in new properties and new homes for their families, many have been left holding the bag on incomplete projects. Citizens have protested at many unfinished sites across China. And there's been talk about Evergrande getting liquidity assistance from the Chinese government. And some assistance has already been provided, but it does not seem to be stopping the bleeding. And China may pull away from this massive bailout as other firms have had their troubles as well. This does not bode well for large commercial investment projects, especially after the Katerra bankruptcy continues to play out in U.S. courts. Katerra's biggest backer was SoftBank, as previously reported, and with these large firms defaulting on their debt, this causes the big investment firms to reevaluate risk. If the banks tighten up the purse strings, then it gets a lot harder to fund big projects and jobs can be affected. We are keeping an eye on these situations and do not want to say the sky is falling. There are still plenty of jobs out there and we report on them every single week. If you have not done so, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And don't forget that notification bell so you do not miss out on the latest developments in the building trades industry. My name is Sean Tolan. This is Construction Business TV. Y'all stay cool, stay safe, and have an amazing day.